railway walk video. Now today we are in the outskirts of Edwinstow in Nottinghamshire. Behind me we've got Forsby Colliery Box and we're going to be following the disused Forsby Colliery Junction and its railway line. Now we won't be going this way, we're not running, walking anywhere near any active lines, we'll instead be taking the footpath down and making our way towards an overbridge so it keeps us away from anywhere near the running line which is the safest way to do it and we don't want to get into any bother or as little bother as possible so we'll see you down here so that's where I started over there you've got Forsby box in the distance we've followed the path down come along this track here and we're making our way along to this overbridge where we should be able to get up on top and we can see what's still remaining up there four years or three and a half years nearly four years since the last service ran so I'm up, I'm on top of the bridge I'm above the River Lean now facing this way back towards the um, network rail test track which we are not going on the track is still down and facing the other way the track is still down but I believe it has been lifted a short way around this corner so we'll find out shortly we'll just have a little look down here and see if there's anything still remaining other than rails but we are not going near the railway line the active network rail railway line so that's as far as I'm going to go this way the signal box is right in the middle of your picture in the distance between the rails so let's head on back see what we can find and hopefully we'll find one or two things of interest so I'm back at the River Bourne overbridge again so we'll continue on follow the line go around this bend I don't think the track's going to last much longer as I said previously I actually didn't expect to find any around here, so it's more we find the bonus basically. For how much longer it'll stay, who knows. So there we have the end of the line. Why it had been removed from this point onwards, whether it was officially removed or stolen, I'd, I've no idea. I don't understand why the rest, of, the rest of it would still be here all the way back to the junction. The little gizmo here, still wired up. And just going back a little bit we've just gone over which would be the second bridge on this short branch it is here for farm access Edwin Stow over that way Olerton over in that direction now about halfway between the bridge to farm access bridge and Old Rufford Road bridge number three. I just had to mention these two gates which I found halfway down. Now one on the left hand side here and then straight opposite on the other side we've got another one. So this must have been an old farm access crossing just here which has been obviously been out of use for a very, very long time. I'd love to see a picture of that. Amazing stuff. So 
So what did this branch line once serve? Well, it served the Thorsby Colliery, which opened in 1925. And it was also the last coal mine in Nottinghamshire to close way back in July 2015. Now the first two shafts were sunk in 1925 and they were 690 metres deep and in the 50s they were sunk for a further 109 metres. Now when it closed in July 2015 it still had a workforce of 350 to 360 individuals on site and on the 17th of September in the evening it was the last ever book coal service and this was hauled by 66 617 of Freightliner. That is the last time this branch ever saw use from the coal mine. Now it wasn't until 2018 that the junction at Forsby Box was eventually severed off the uh, network rail test track. And this track was lifted shortly afterwards. Again, I'm not sure as to why it was only part of it. But as we come up to bridge number three, we actually pick up the railway again, or the railway line. And it's quite possible it stays with us all the way to the coal mine or the outskirts of it. not long left behind old Rufford Road that would have been bridge number three back there the rails are still down and we're almost out of the cutting and this corner just seems to go on and on and on I was never familiar with this area but I do remember going over that bridge and seeing uh, coal workings snaked around this corner never really knew whether they was going in or out I just wish I actually got the chance to actually see one in action rather than seeing it for what it is today. But at the same time, at least I'm getting this today before it's completely gone forever. industrial machinery draws ever closer. I've stood on a bit now which is really really overgrown with grass. It looks as though this is used, I'd say it's a bit of a path or a cut through but it looks like animal footprints. 
all the way along it. And it goes up that way through the trees. So it looks like nature has its own little foot crossing. Still got the rails. The track bed seems to go wide enough for two lines now. But there's definitely only the trace of one line. I've just seen a deer running off into the distance and I wish I'd got that on camera. Oh well, maybe next time. So I'm wondering if this bit would have been prone to flooding or heavy rainwater. See, it looks like it could be very boggy at times. It's very sludgy looking, even in the track bed. And looking up ahead, it looks like rainwater would actually run down off the fields onto the line. So the embankment there does look very soft. It probably has been affected by rainwater. It's very sludgy down there. Where I am now is quite dry, but you can see where it has been sludgy. And it looks like we're temporarily going to lose the rails. However, it does actually look as if the rails are still in fact there. They've just been flooded over with mud. This like clay like mud. I suppose it's leftovers from the mine, which have got into the rainwater and they've flowed down here. And you see the rails still there. And then it's not. It's on the other side, and then it's not. I'm convinced it's still here, and this is all just this is all just like mud, coal, shale, whatever you call it. It's just come down here and it's just buried it. back so they were buried in all the all the crud and the crap got a load of waste cables here and the rails are back with us heading towards the coal mine or the colliery on the right hand side on the Rufford Road side it's fields on the left hand side there's a rather steep embankment we'll carry on as far as we can go I don't think it's gonna be much longer Okay, that's about it. Now we've got the line just here. We've also got this another section of line, which quite peculiar is rather clear, just this little bit. Now I'm guessing this would have been a part of a run round for the locomotive. I imagine that that's what that's for. That's the best thing about not having much knowledge of these places. It makes it really exciting for myself. I don't know what I'm going to find and where I'm going to find it. I'd rather go somewhere new and explore it rather than somewhere I know like the back of my hand because it, it makes me more ooh, interested. So down there we've got the remains of what was Forsby Colliery. We're going to make our way back now. So I'll leave you a few pictures, a few pictures of the network rail line as it is today. I know you've enjoyed the video and I'll see you again next time. Bye bye.